There she is, Ella Henderson with 21 reasons and 18 points. All day, Platinum Popmaster continues. And playing against Ella this morning is Paul Newbigin from Normanton, West Yorkshire. Morning, Paul. Morning, Ken. How are you? Pleasure to speak to you. I'm very well, thank you. My pleasure. So, you're very well, and are you off today on a bit of a holiday? Are you having a day? Bank holiday, yep. Good. What's the job you normally do? I work in marketing for an, an accountancy firm. Is that as great as it sounds? Oh, it's honestly every day is oh. uh, just fiesta, fiesta, fiesta. I get the I get the picture. I, I used to be in that business. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, you uh, love your food, I believe. Yes, yeah. Travel all over the country and all over the world to uh, some of the best restaurants uh, as often as we can. Good. And uh, you do this for a podcast, is that right? Yeah, so I started the podcast about four years ago, and uh, I think the pinnacle was probably interviewing Jamie Oliver and uh, Mark Swearing, two of my big food heroes. Um, that was, uh, yeah, that was probably the high point. Yeah, and you picked up a few hints from them, I dare say. Uh, do you know what? I'm a better eater than I am a cook. <laughs> I'm with you on that. I'm absolutely with you on that. Great stuff. Okay, Paul, uh, let us uh, choose bonus questions. The name is Brown is one. The other is The Kinks. The Kinks, or The Name is Brown. I'll go for The Name is Brown. The Name is Brown. Got it. Right. Well, Ella did really well on that first round. 18 points she scored. That is uh, your target. So in order to progress to the semi-finals, you have to score more than that. And then you have to think about beating our two existing possibilities for the semis, but we'll get onto that a little bit later on. So, Paul, are you ready for them? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay. In that case, we wish you the best of luck. And here they come. Released in 1985, Mick Jagger and David Bowie spent four weeks at the top of the charts with the revival of which classic Motown song? Dancing in the Street. It was Dancing in the Street. Three points. Which Spice Girl had a solo number one in 1999 with Mi Chico Latino? Uh, Jerry Halliwell. It now. was. She was indeed Halliwell at that time. But Jerry Halliwell is the answer we need. Lovely. Bonus question. The name is Brown. I'm going to play your top five hit from 1995. Please name the singer. If you can play that game you're playing yeah, yeah, yeah. Play that game. Play that game. who's that please it's uh, bobby brown it's bobby brown you're right six points which of these three hits by boyzone did not get to the top of the charts was it a different beat words or picture of you one of those stalled at number two was it a different beat words or picture of you I'll go picture of you. You're right. It only got to number two. That is the one. Congratulations. In what year did these three songs make the top ten? Cool for Cats by Squeeze. He's the Greatest Dancer by Sister Sledge. And Whatever You Want by Status Quo. Um, I'm going to guess 87. Oh, you're a fair bit out, to be honest. Uh, 79. 1979. If I got the decade, I'd have been happy. (laughs) Well, you're nearly in the right decade. One year out of the right decade. Okay, Okay, here's a bonus question. The name is Brown. In 1979, this Jamaican singer made the top 20 for the first and only time in his career with this record. What's his name, though? Money in my pocket, but I just can't get no love. What's his name? It's a complete guess, but I'll go for Labby Sifri. It's not, I'm afraid, it's Dennis Brown. Dennis Brown. What was the title of the only number one achieved by the Human League? Don't You Want Me. Don't You Want Me, yes. Broken Down Angel and Bad Bad Boy were both top ten hits in 1973 for which British rock band? Can you say the two names again, please? Ken? Broken Down Angel and Bad Bad Boy. I'm not sure I'm going to get it. I'll pass. Okay, Nazareth were the band. Bonus question. The name is Brown. This was this performer's first chart hit in 1984. Who is she, please? See you are. Who's 
Who's that, please? It's another guess, but Jocelyn Brown. That's a good guess. That's exactly who it was. Jocelyn Brown. Lovely. And finally, the songs A Man Without Love and The Way It Used To Be were top three hits in the 60s for which singer? A Man Without Love and The Way It Used To Be. Uh, again, I, I don't know. Sorry, I'll have to pass. OK, it's Engelbert Humperdinck. Engelbert Humperdinck with those. Paul, 24 points. Well done. Thank you. Yes, 24 points means you are safely through as the winner of this heat. So... Settle there for a moment or two while we say bad luck to Ella. Very close, though, Ella, in the end. Oh, it wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> oh, no, not at all. You did really well. 18 points is a good score. Don't you worry about that. It's just that you're up against Paul, who scored 24, so uh, he knew a little bit more. Really, just one or two questions. Nothing more than that. Anyway, Ella, for you, we are going to send you a lovely Radio 2 goodie bag. Oh, lovely. Well, you will wait until you see what's in it. Uh, you get to, Actually, you get a Popmaster board game. That's nice. And uh, one of the last Popmaster Bluetooth speakers anywhere in the world. We'll send you those. Uh, quiz book and a one-year-out T-shirt, as, as well as some other bits and bobs that we've found. So that's all in the bag. We'll send that to you. And thank you for taking oh. part. <laughs> and thank you so much, but, Ken. Thanks for having me. And you're going out on tour, your own headline tour. I know you've been out with the script, uh, but in October you're going out on your own headline tour, yes? I am indeed. It's been so much fun getting back on the road, but I can't wait to do my own tour in October, so make sure you grab tickets if um, if you haven't already. Right, right, we will. We'll all be out there. And in the meantime, we're enjoying 21 Reasons as the record of the week with uh, you and Nathan Dore. Thanks so much, Ella, for taking part today. Thank you, and good luck, Paul. Oh, what a kind Thank person. Thanks, Ella. Bye. Bye, bye. Ella Henderson, that was. So, Paul, it's you. Progressing, perhaps, to the semis, but it depends what happens here, because uh, at the moment we have two higher scores than you. However, if you do the 3 and 10 correctly, you can get an extra five points here to add to your score, which would bring you up alongside Lee Corbin on 29 points. So you've got 24 at the moment, get your three and ten, and there's five bonus points coming your way. So, shall we do it? Let's go. Here we go with it then. Today, please, the titles of three UK single chart hits for... Three in ten. Katy Perry. California Girls. Yes. Hot and Cold. Yes. And I Kissed a Girl. Yes! You got three. Brilliant stuff. Three of the 33 hits of Katy Perry, 15 of them top 10 hits. California Girls, Hot and Cold, and I Kissed a Girl. Well done. So, you're now on 29 points, which means you are equal with uh, Lee Corbin. Corkin, I should say. And uh, Gary Bliss just ahead on 32 points. So, at the moment, that's where we stand. But the semis are a fair way off just yet. There could be some other people nosing past you. We won't know for a little while. But, uh, Paul, in case you don't come back later for the semis, if you want to do your shouts now, on you go. Uh, just a massive hello to everyone who knows me, my wife Amelia, my gorgeous boy Flynn, and to everyone at Encore Theatre Company. Uh, we're putting on Chester Musical in July, so uh, hello Ooh. to everybody there. That's a big sing. Are you uh, are you singing in it? Yes, but I'm the very definition of background. <laughs> I've got about two lines so far. Okay, but you'll make you'll make them. They'll, <laughs> they'll be the most two important lines in the whole show. I'm quite sure. They-